Hi, this is Chris. I'm going to do a walkthrough of the producer, which is a WordPress theme built for uh, film studios or production companies. Uh, its primary focus is to showcase a portfolio of video projects. Um, it showcases uh, or it features a nice little panel effect here when you're scrolling through the site, uh, kind of like a reverse curtain effect, if you will. Um, but what we basically have on this uh, homepage is a logo area menu with search, search feature. Um, we have a welcome message here, and then we have a continue link that automatically takes you to the next panel. Uh, this is a uh, category of posts that you can specify, and they have a featured image with a brief excerpt and navigating them just takes you to the next post. Uh, they also support a full screen background image to accompany each slide. And then it just uh, recycles through to the first slide when you get the end. Continue down and you'll see that we have some footer widgets here. Uh, there are four footer widgets that you can drag and drop any kind of content that you want. Uh, and then we have a copyright message and some social links. When we navigate to a specific uh, video project page, you'll be first presented with the video. Uh, this is the main focus of the theme, so right away it's front and center, and you can just uh, enjoy the video. Uh, this video is uh, provided here by using the embed code uh, that services like Vimeo or YouTube provide. So you just copy and paste that into a field and it'll show up right here for you. If we click the uh, continue button, you'll see that we have various tabs up here. Uh, the first one being the synopsis tab. This just basically displays the post excerpt. This is the text that you can control from the WordPress post editor page. Uh, and then it also shows the featured image. If we go to the right, you'll see that we have an image gallery here, and this is automatically created uh, based on the images that you upload to the post. So all I did to create this was upload these images, and that was it. I didn't have to copy and paste any URLs or anything like that. Uh, clicking them will show them in a light box. Continue to the next tab, and we have a credit roll. Uh, this is super basic on the editor screen. You just you just basically enter the text, uh, and then it it'll automatically scroll it for you like this. And uh, when it gets to the end, it will automatically start over, so you don't have to worry about users missing something. If I continue uh, comments. There's a comments tab that is uh, going to display any comments you have. Uh, obviously, this is optional. If you don't want comments, you just turn that off in WordPress, and this tab will not be visible. And then we have a related uh, tab. This will show related projects based on tags, uh, WordPress tags. If you have multiple posts with the same tag, they'll show up here. And this is also randomly generated, too, so you don't have to worry about uh, users uh, coming by your older content if uh, you have a lot of projects. Uh, this theme also supports various page templates. So we have a default page layout, which will have the page title, uh, a little tiny uh, tagline for the page, and then below that is the standard page content. Uh, this is all controlled from the WordPress page editor screen. So this is a default page. Uh, there's also a wide page. So the content is a, a bit wider. Uh, there is a static page for those that don't necessarily want to use the panel effect for a particular page. Uh, they can just have it like this where the, the panel scrolling effect is disabled. And then there's also a wide version of that. Uh, the news link here is basically just a category um, of posts. So you can see that they have a featured image with the title, some metadata, and an excerpt. So you can just have a normal uh, blog if you want. And uh, when you go to a blog post, if there's no video uh, provided, it'll just display the title where the video would be for a video project. 
and uh, you'll see that there's no tabs on a blog post because it, it doesn't have the same kind of content as a project post. And then the contact page is just a standard WordPress page. Uh, this is using the Contact Form 7 plugin for the form. And I will note that this, uh, this theme is responsive. So as I adjust the size, it will uh, change its layout for uh, mobile devices, as you can see here. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the dashboard. Uh, when you log into your WordPress dashboard, all the theme options are available under the appearance menu and you just click customize. And this theme uses the built-in WordPress theme customizer feature uh, to control all the theme options. Uh, so if you can look on the left here, there's various tabs. Under the general tab, you have a theme skim option. There's a light and a dark option. Uh, there's an option for the control, or I'm sorry, continue link, so that it'll always say continue. You don't have to hover over it if you don't want to. Uh, there are background image controls. So you can uh, control the opacity of the background if you want it to be darker or lighter. You can control that here. Uh, the default background is used when you don't specify a background for individual pages or posts and there's a main section and footer section control. So the main section would be uh, this one here, and then the footer section is this here. And then you have additional background options for the light skin. This way you can kind of test the design and you don't have to keep bouncing back and forth um, uh, to the live preview of the site. You can check all your, your changes here. Uh, under site title and tagline, you have a logo option. Uh, you can't see it right now because the logo is white, but uh, this is where you upload the logo. You can control your site title and the tagline, tagline here. Uh, the menu navigation is controlled from here, and you can choose whether or not you want to display the search feature. So you can see I turned that off. Under the static front page option, this is where you control the welcome message and it supports HTML, so you can see there's links in here. And then if you don't want to have a welcome message, you can also just copy and paste um, a video embed code and have a video displayed here instead. Uh, the latest post category section controls which posts show up in the slider on the front page, and then you can also control how many items you want to appear. Uh, for the footer, you can see it has the uh, copyright section right here. Again, it supports HTML, so we have a link in there, and that's this text right here. Uh, you can choose whether or not to display your social links. Uh, there's various options for that here. Um, I also threw in a custom CSS box in case you want to make some design changes without uh, having to worry about losing your, your edits when you update the theme. And then a new feature uh, is the widget control from uh, this section right here too. So you can move the widgets around and add new ones. So that's the theme options. Let's go ahead and take a look at what a video project looks like. If I navigate down to this post here, you can see uh, we have the title description. Uh, this text is what shows up in the synopsis section of a post page or of a project page. Um, we have a video embed code option here. So you just copy and paste that. Uh, this one's from Vimeo. And then below that, uh, we also have a videos tab and that's something that I didn't actually get to show you on the front end. Let me go ahead and show you what, that, what I'm referring to here. So when you have additional videos that you wanna show instead of just this main video, uh, you can also have the addition of a videos tab. Uh, you can see that there's a list of videos right here. And to achieve that, all you need to do is just copy and paste your various embed codes, uh, spaced out of course, but uh, the theme will take care of all the styling for you, so it's just a matter of copy and pasting that. Uh, the credits tab, again, is just basic text. You just throw it in there uh, as if you were writing it, and it will automatically organize it for you. 
and uh, animate it for you like this. So this text here is all controlled from this box. And then you have a custom background option as well. And a featured image as well over here. For pages, you can see, let's check out one of the page template pages. So this page doesn't have the scrolling effect and that is basically controlled from right here. You can choose to use the static page template option or your other options available right here. Super easy. Uh, there's also the addition of a page description. Uh, this is what shows up below the title and then a custom background image. So that was a really quick run through of the theme. Um, when you download the theme from ThemeForest, you'll get a zip file like this. And when you unzip it, you'll get a folder like this. Currently, you can see that I'm showcasing version 1.3.1. .1. So depending on how many updates I've released since this video, some features might be a little different. Uh, there is a change log that will let you know, know all the changes I've made. Uh, but the theme includes the demo content file that you can import in WordPress. There's a help file. So it is organized uh, very easily for you. Um, so you just basically click a section if you need more information. Uh, lots of screenshots and explanations that go beyond this video uh, to get more information. There's also the theme folder. This is what you would uh, upload via FTP and then there's a zip version which is what you would upload from the WordPress dashboard and then there's also PSDs. Um, I included the poster PSD I used for the featured images in case you want to make your own uh, poster style uh, featured image. So I hope that helps. Um, if you do end up using this theme and you need additional help, I do provide support uh, Monday through Friday on my support forum. So please feel free to post any questions you have there uh, if you have any issues. Uh, thanks a lot.